Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be going over how to master Cassidy. We'll be covering how you should be playing teamfights as well as how best to use your abilities. Before we get into the video, if you guys want to start learning how to rank up easily today, make sure that you go to the Overwatch 2 Game Leap website where we have guides for tons of different heroes just like this one with new ones released daily. There you'll be able to learn how to master every hero with in-depth guides on tons of different ways that you can start dominating your games today. Now, if you want to main Cassidy, there's one thing that you really, really need, and that is aiming consistency. His primary fire deals anywhere from 20 to 70 damage to your target, depending on how far away they are, and it can shoot twice per second with 6 ammo in the chamber. This means that you can easily 3-shot any 200 HP hero, but that does require you to hit 3 out of the 6 shots that you have, either consecutively or without the enemy getting healed. This is why this consistency is absolutely necessary, because even if you hit a good headshot as Cassidy or a few body shots, if you're not finishing off those targets then they're just going to get healed and all of your damage is going to be meaningless. Make sure that whenever you're trying to play Cassidy, you are either warming up beforehand or you are consistent and confident with your aim enough that you actually have a good time playing him and hitting your shots. A tip for aiming with Cassidy is to lower your sensitivity a little bit and having a precision crosshair, maybe something small, a dot or a circle or a small cross, can very easily help you make a lot of bigger and longer range shots that are easier to hit now because you have a smaller crosshair and can actually see people from far away. Instead of a large crosshair that might take up a lot of your screen and cover up some of the enemies from a further distance. Now one thing that I don't really ever use as Cassidy unless it's up close and the enemies have shields is his secondary fire. Since it shoots out all of his ammo and only deals 50 damage per shot up close and is quite inaccurate, you really only want to be using this ability on shield or very large targets like tanks where you need to deal a lot of damage in a very short burst of time. If you manage to land every shot with a secondary fire, it can actually deal up to 300 damage, which is quite good. But if you're shooting at tanks with armor, then you need to account for the 30% damage reduction that they get with armor on. So it does become a lot less viable whenever you're shooting heavily armored targets like D.Va, Winston, and maybe even Orisa. So it's probably best that if you're going to use this, make sure that it's either on a shield or a less armored tank. While it can be used on Winston and D.Va and Orisa, it's kind of not that great and you're probably better off just using your primary fire. Now it's really best comboed with his combat roll which reloads your weapon for you so that you can do two back to back secondary fires shooting a total of 12 shots dealing up to 600 damage which should help you shred through most shields in the game if you're playing against them. His magnetic grenade is probably the strongest ability in his kit and it deals 130 damage to any enemy that it sticks to meaning that you can easily follow up your magnetic grenade if it sticks to a target with a single shot of your revolver and the enemy is just about as good as dead if they don't get healed. This ability is going to be your main tool for dealing with enemy dive heroes like Genji and Tracer where all you have to really do is melee a Tracer and hit her with your magnetic grenade and if she has no recall then she is as good as dead. Same with Genji if you just hit your single magnetic grenade and a body shot before he deflects then he is not going to be able to do anything about it. Some things to note about his combat roll is it gives you 50% damage reduction during the duration, it gives you an instant reload of your gun, you're able to use it airborne, and it has a very short cooldown of only 6 seconds. The 50% damage reduction that you get while using it only lasts for about 0.4 seconds, so it's only really useful when you're getting hit by predictable damage. Abilities like Cassidy's Magnetic Grenade, or Tracer's Pulse Bomb, or even Diva Bomb are some really good examples of this, where you can time your roll against these abilities to take 50% less damage, possibly saving your life in very critical situations. And being able to use it while airborne can easily help you cross large gaps on maps that have a lot of high grounds, letting you get to places that you normally may not be able to just by jumping. The reload aspect is also really important, making sure that you're shooting down all of your shots, or just using your secondary fire before you roll to try and get as much value as you can from it. Now, Cassidy's ultimate ranges from a team wipe to a completely useless ability, depending on how it's used and where it's used. First, let's talk about the features of his ultimate as these can be really important when you're using it. As soon as his ultimate is used, he gains a 40% damage reduction and starts to lock onto any target that is in front of him. You can see a circle closing in around on the target when damage is accumulating on them, and when the circle fully closes, it means that you will deal enough damage whenever you press your left click or your ultimate again that you will kill the target, unless 
unless they get some other sort of help. But what you might not know is that after the ultimate locks onto the target, the damage continues ramping up. So during the first two seconds of your ultimate, the damage ramps up very slowly at only 130 DPS. While this doubles after two seconds of using your ultimate, this means that if you lock onto a Reinhardt while he's shielding, if you let your ultimate ramp up past fully locking onto him and you continue to store damage, this will actually allow you to use your ultimate to instantly break Reinhardt's shield and kill anybody who is also locked on from behind the shield. For example, if Reinhardt has 500 HP and you lock onto him and your ultimate is going to deal 500 damage to him, it actually continues ramping up past the 500 damage that you're going to do to him and does that damage to anything in front of him. So if, for example, the Reinhardt has a player directly behind him that's locked on and you lock onto Reinhardt, Heart for more than the amount of time that it takes to break his shield, you will shoot your first shot to break Reinhardt's shield, shoot your second shot at the hero directly behind Reinhardt, which will actually kill Reinhardt because he's taking the shot for them. Now, most of the time, you'll want to be using his ultimate either comboed with another hero like Ana or another defensive ultimate like Lucio so that you can easily charge it up on enemies and grab a ton of eliminations. Although sometimes you won't have ultimates to combo with, here are some great tips for using his ultimate to actually get some value out of it. My favorite usage for Cassidy's ultimate is against ulting Winstons or Sigmas who really can't do anything while they're ulting other than just hide from you or they're at risk of immediately dying. Same with if you use it while you're getting Sigma ulted, then Sigma will lift you into the air, allowing you to get a really, really good view of the enemy team, which can completely counter or even allow you to get kills on his team while he's ulting you. Another really, really strong usage is to combo it with a support or defensive ability while you're peeking from a high ground. Since as soon as you use it, you get a 40% damage reduction. When comboed with a Zarya Bubble, Kiriko Suzu, or even just a Mercy Pocket, it can be a huge difference between you picking up one and two kills or just dying slash getting slept out of it. With Cassidy's ultimate, you want to be constantly experimenting on when to use it and where you're using it. And honestly, since it really isn't the most amazing ult in the game and it charges up quite fast if you're constantly dealing damage, using it to only get one kill on say an enemy Pharah or any other other hero that you find hard to kill is actually a great usage for it. Especially if you're killing a hero like a tank or an ulting mercy, then your ultimate will still get a lot more value than if you were to use it to try and team wipe and end up dying. One last usage for his ultimate, which is extremely niche, is to reload your gun. If you really wanted to, you could use your secondary fire once, roll, then use it again, then ult, then use it again, and then reload and use it a fourth time. That would allow you to deal up to 1200 damage, but honestly, it's not really Really that good and you probably shouldn't be using your ultimate to reload your gun. Now Cassidy usually needs a lot more support than other DPS heroes due to his movement ability being a lot shorter range than most. He has really really good dueling potential against almost all other DPS in short range situations due to his magnetic grenade almost guaranteeing the kill if you stick someone and hit them with one primary fire. This doesn't mean that you should always be playing with your team though. Cassidy can easily excel on off angles and short flanks where he can easily walk up to a target that's not paying attention attention and hit them with his magnetic grenade or even just secure two primary or three primary fire shots to get the kill. You really want to be abusing Cassidy's range as much as you possibly can on this hero when you're playing against Dai. Making sure that you're staying at least a decent distance away from the enemies while not being too far to trigger your damage fall off. Whenever you find that you're playing against dive comps, there's not a ton you can really do because of his movement ability being on such a short cooldown. Your spacing against enemies is going to be the most important tool keeping you from getting dove and you always want to be falling back towards your supports if you do get dope. You never want to run away from your supports around corners. Because Cassidy's a little bit more healthy than other DPS heroes, retreating to your supports can be the difference between actually winning and losing a fight. So make sure that you're backing away, rolling away from the enemies towards your support while dealing as much damage to the chasing enemies as possible, maybe even turning the fight and winning the whole fight instead of you just dying from running away. Now, I want to hear which heroes you guys want to see next and which heroes you'll be playing this season to rank up. And thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure that you check out our Overwatch 2 website that just released the other day. It is constantly being updated with new guides on every single hero. So make sure that you check out the website link right now in the description or go to gameleap.com and sign up today.